What's up Aquarius? How's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in to Reflexive Moon Tarot. I'm Sarah and I will be doing a read for you for the month of December. So this is from now until the end of December in the Gregorian calendar. And let's get started. So your concern with the Six of Wands is perhaps not being recognized for the way that you've changed or maybe you are being recognized for change that is not authentic so it can go two ways with that but either way a transformation is either being viewed as not occurring or hasn't actually occurred. So some type of like creative, like you need to take some time basically to allow this to, to gestate what it is that you're looking for, the outcome that you're looking for. Uh, creatively speaking, manifesting your creativity there's some time that you need to put in but don't take too much time like you know with the empress you know nine months kind of time like that cycle of venus so when i think of venus too I think of like um pleasure like finding out what it is that you enjoy so that you look like you're enjoying what it is that you're doing so that people are able to recognize that this is who you are and what it is that you love the things that you want to be recognized for are things that you truly value. I'm just going to add some more smoke. I hope that's still going. Maybe not. Okay. Perfect. A little bit. sun reversed so overlooking the situation you know your light has been put out on some level you may be experiencing some depression this is the time if you're in the northern hemisphere and maybe elsewhere as well uh, for seasonal affective disorder so um, my suggestion would be to either light a candle or maybe if you can invest in uh, one of those sad lights s-a-d for i think that even stands for seasonal affective disorder so yeah that may be an effective solution for you also to get out in the sun a little bit more often i mean it depends like some people don't like the sun and it's totally valid some people have a hard time where they feel like the sun energy really interferes with their sense of wellness so wearing sunglasses when you go out into the sun or just investing if you have uh, the resources, some um, good vitamin D. And the vitamin D that you buy at the drugstore, not the other one. So you could be depressed also because financially or physically you're not doing well. There could be some physical health issues that you are experiencing and you need to sort of work on. Or even also like break whatever little mini cycle is happening. Maybe you, I mean, it's, I don't know if you subscribe to Christmas or not, but overspending could be an issue. So coming from a place where, you know, you've taken some time for yourself to ponder and reflect and light your own way towards, you know, the near future and what it is that you seek. But it sounds like you really need to start interacting with others as a part of this process in order to turn this reversed sun card, you know, flip that frown upside down. 
Maybe watch some like nostalgic movies if that's what you're into. And this card always reminds me of the never ending story. And we don't care. <laughs> so I can't remember the name of that character, but it's like this big ancient tortoise. It's also like a really sad part where Atreya loses his horse. So yeah, grief is something that you could be a grief cycle. Uh, could be where you're at. I think it's really important to look at when you're dealing with, uh, when you're trying to stay trauma informed, times of the year where you've experienced heartache or loss or trauma on some level. Because uh, physiologically, your body will go through that process again because of, you know, where you're at, in, you know, where you're at uh, seasonally. Okay, and moving towards less despair. So, I mean, with the Five of Pentacles, you always want this card to come up reverse because when it's upright, it usually means despair. So you will come out of this period of despair. Subconsciously, you are willing to seek help, actually. And there is help available. So I would definitely take an opportunity if it present, especially if it presents itself to you. Because usually, usually the five when it's upright, it's despair while others are basically watching you and not doing anything about it. Like refuge is right there and you're either not like, you know, it's like that whole, that saying where you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink where there's a solution, but you're just not for whatever reason, most likely pride just not accepting it. Pride and, and narcissism are really, they kind of go hand in hand. I mean, um, if you're if you're doing okay, like things are all right, you know, you have a roof over your head, you have food in your mouth type of thing, but you're too full of pride to ask for help with the other things that you do actually need help with. That's not good. So here, it looks like you are going to swallow your pride and, and seek what it is that you need. And we have the Page of Swords. So it looks like people see that you are, you know, really good at sending and receiving messages, like that you have a very effective, you have the ability to communicate effectively. They're, they also see that you do have a lot to learn in terms of effective communication. So getting honest with yourself about that is probably something that you need to work on. It could be that, I'm not sure. It could just be that you have to put in some more time to learn and grow, I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe external things outside of you are just the real aggravating factors but at the same time it's reversed so I, I don't know it could be that you just really need to get honest with yourself and start being more responsible with the way that you communicate and also just getting honest with yourself about any problems that you have It's difficult. I know it's hard to find trust, but it's really hard to trust people who are untrustworthy. And then we have the world reverse. So you do have a fear of not finding a place in the world. You're really insecure. So you need to figure out how to ground yourself on some level. It's going to be, it's going to be a bit of an uphill, a climb uphill, that's for sure. But it's like one of those necessary evils, right? And five of 
five of swords reversed you will find a place where you or you will find a, a place at peace like a you know there's going to be a point where you don't have to you know go to battle every time or feel the need to take out of survival And you will achieve through this sense of peace what it is that you need in order to rejuvenate your energy that you can focus on career and health and wealth. So with that, thank you so much for tuning in. And I really hope that you enjoy the rest of your month. December. And um, yeah, if you if this resonates with you, please feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. And also just to show support, that would be great. Take care and we'll see you again soon. Thanks.